Almost a month since the Sayana Shushinska power plant tragedy, new CCTV footage has been made public. A janitor wiped floors in the machine hall just minutes before a deadly mass of water destroyed the three generators, burying 75 workers under the rubble. Panicked employees rushed to the exit. The rescue operation has been going on for more than three weeks, with the death toll rising practically every day. The 74th body was found on Wednesday. One more woman is still missing. A feeling of heavy grief is still felt around the region. There is a town near the hydroelectric plant. At least one person from each family worked there or is working there now. In this town, almost everyone has a relative or friend who died during the disaster. Catastrophe struck early in the morning on August the 17th. The exact reason is still unknown, but it is believed one of the turbines was destroyed and water from the Yenisei River flooded the machine hole. After the water was drained away, it looked like a battlefield. Sayana Shushinskaya's deadly wave also caused a huge stir among officials in Moscow, and now the Russian parliament is joining the investigation with its own separate commission. It's the first time since a bill on parliamentary investigations was adopted in 2005 that members of the State Duma have agreed that tragic events at the Sayana Shushinskaya station demand an obligatory parliamentary inquiry. We have to openly inform society about what happened. The prosecutor general's office believes it was a violation of safety procedures which caused the disaster. But a report by the Russian accounts chamber offers an alternative explanation. Its experts had been making routine checks of the station for several years. In 2007, we conducted an inspection of the Sayansky Reservoir, which included the hydropower plant. In 2008, we inspected Roshidro, and that inspection again included the Sayana Shushinskaya station. At the Sayana Shushinskaya plant, the situation was the same as everywhere. Even several years ago, it was already clear that people's lives were in danger and that there was a risk of damage worth billions of rubles. Work to rebuild the plant is due to start next year, with around 300 million US dollars already allocated for the task. However, the Ross Hydro Company, which runs the station, is considering asking the government for another half a billion dollars. Meanwhile, 25 families of the dead workers have received a million rubles of compensation each. That is about 30,000 US dollars. Others have been promised the money will arrive soon, and that sum could be increased. In another twist, the Rosna Insurance Company has already declared that it would pay out over 200 million US dollars, both for repair works and as a further compensation to families of those died in the incident. And this will make it the biggest insurance case in history of modern Russia. Investigators claimed on Wednesday they managed to reconstruct the exact events of August the 17th, and they will be able to say with certainty what caused the tragedy. The final report will be published on Tuesday next week. Alexey Roshevsky, RT, Moscow.